Hello everyone, welcome to Adhikari Education and AssamExam.com. If you have also appeared for the APSC preliminary examination, then most probably you are also among the 75,000 candidates who are keeping their finger crossed and curiously searching for the answer for the greatest question of time. That is, what will be the cutoff of APSC prelim exam 2022? This question became all the more difficult due to the level of questions that were asked in GS paper 1 though CSA papers question are normal. So in this video, we will explain our expectation of the same and how we arrived at the expected cutoff. Let's start. First, what is the methodology? How we have arrived at the cutoff? To arrive at a precise cutoff, we have conducted one candidate survey where we have asked the candidates to enter their expected mark and what is their expectation with regard to the cutoff. Then, we have also collected data from various sources including social media so that more data set we can get and we can arrive at a precise number. But let's be clear that this is just an estimation and it is an attempt from our side to get a fair idea of the minimum mark that is required to clear our prelim examination. Here you can see last year's cutoff which is pretty much close to the expected cutoff that we have declared after the preliminary examination 2020. For general category, we had expected 110 plus minus 5 and the actual cutoff came to 122 for male and for female 114. For OBC category, we had expected 102 plus minus 5 which has, which has came to 101 or 102 which is exactly in the mean of what we had expected. For SC category, we had expected 95 plus minus 5 which is declared as a 95, which is also exactly what we have asked, what we have expected. For scheduled drives plane, we had expected 93 plus minus 5, which is came out to be 90. For scheduled drives hill, we had expected 87 plus minus 7, which is came to be 84. So we think our estimate in the last instances also was very close. And this time also, we will try to give you a very precise picture of what can be the cutoff for this year. Now, first we have to understand why this year's cutoff is going to be significantly different from previous year's cutoff. Some of the important factors are very large number of candidates, which was never seen in the previous years. Earlier, it will be around 200 to 300. This year, it came to 900 plus. Then, almost same number of candidates. For 300 candidate last year, 300 vacancy last year, around 75000 people has attempted. This year also, almost same number of people were there, but posts were 900. So automatically, your chances of getting selected becomes three times. Then, most important is difficulty level in GS paper 1, which was, which can be considered as easy and moderate in 2020, but definitely it cannot be considered easy or moderate in 2022. Then unexpected level of questions and not much direct questions like earlier it used APSC used to ask. APSC has not delayed the exam even though they have came up with the revised addendum then also they kept the exam date as they have declared earlier. So this might have caught so many aspirants by surprise. Most of the people might have thought APSC's exams will be delayed but APSC has kept their promise and tried to do it on time. So we believe due to these factors, definitely this year's cutoff will be very much different from the previous year. Point is, but still the most important point should be this point, difficulty level in GS paper 1. What was the level in 2020 and what is the level in 2022? There is a denied difference. Let's see this point little more elaborately. The comments we received with regard to GS paper of 2020. What are the comments? Normal comments, not at all standard, moderate, substandard, not according to syllabus, easy, easy, not uh, UPSC pattern, low standard, not up to mark, below average, too easy, factual, irrelevant question, not in line with UPS, it was rather a quiz competition, very bad experience, factual paper, silly mistakes, they checked our basic preliminary knowledge, poor quality paper with for an elite service very easy binary either you know or you don't know substandard not ideal to select civil service law standard 
easy to moderate, not standard, tested hour lock and mugging capacity, easy to moderate, easy, factual, unexpected, it was GK rather than a GS, it is not up to the mark. So, if you see all the comments, you will get a fair idea that most of the aspirants have uh, thought that these papers were very easy and all other things that you have read. Now, let us see what most of the aspirants think about the GS paper 2022. Tough, moderate, very tough, toughness, very, very tough, feels like UPSC prelim, GS paper 1 tough, GS paper 2 easy, comparatively tough tough, very hard and medium, quite tough, followed UPSC pattern and shocked everyone which is very much correct. Regret underestimating the quality of APSC which is also correct. But this is not the aspirant's fault. This is what APSC has set the example before. This is the first time APSC has tried to change their image. One of the best quality, very difficult, tricky and tough, very tricky questions were there. Some questions were really tricky. Quality is better, very, uh, very hard. So, if you see this comment, you will come to understand that questions are really tough, at least compared to what a PSC used to do in the previous years. So, now it is established that question paper was very much different than previous year. And this is going to be the most important point in determining the cutoff for this year. We have also analyzed the GS paper 1 of 2020 and GS paper 1 of 2022. If you see GS paper 1 of 2020, 39 questions were considered easy, 30 questions can be considered as moderate, middle level of toughness and at least 31 questions are considered, can be considered as tough. Whereas in GS paper, two, GS paper 1 of 2022, 28 questions can be considered as easy or more easy level, 30 questions can should be considered as a moderate level of toughness and at least 42 questions are considered as a tough. To take an ideal test case, if we consider in GS paper 1 of 2020, a candidate can answer the easy questions, all the easy questions and all the moderate questions and somehow he has answered uh, all the 31 questions of tough level and he got negative marking, then his, still his mark will come 120. The same procedure if we continue in 2022 also, a aspirant is uh, correctly answering all the easy questions and all the moderate questions and he is not able to answer any of the tough questions because so many questions were of statements and multiple statements are in the option. This becomes very tricky. These questions are really tricky. You have to know all the statements that are given. Then only you can answer the question. Earlier in normal MCQ, one statement that is the question and other four options. You know the correct option, you can take. Now, in multiple statement which is given as a combination in the options, you have to know all the statements then only you can answer the correctly. So there will be most of the negative marking will come in those state questions. In this scenario, in 2022, all the easy questions are correct, all the middle, middle level or moderate questions are correct and all the negative, all the tough questions, suppose you are getting negative, then your mark will come 95. So, you see this 95 marks comes to be around 25 marks less than the previous years. This is 2020's prelim. But these things we can consider only if number of vacancies are same. But here number of vacancies became another factor because this time number of vacancies are almost three times. So, after considering all the factors that we have just discussed, this is the cutoff that we are expecting. For male in general category, we are expecting 73 to 83. For male in, for female in general category, we are expecting 67 to 77. Similarly, for OBC, we are expecting 58, 57 to 67. For OBC female category, we are expecting 50 to 60. For SC, we are expecting 50 to 60. For SC in female category, we are expecting 48 to 58. For ST plane, we are expecting 45 to 55. For ST hill, ST plane in female, we are expecting 43 to 53. For ST hills, we are expecting 39 to 49. For ST hill, 
female we are expecting same almost similar this plus minus 5 variability we have kept in the cutoff because of so many variability are in the play in this year so your view about the cutoff that we have just arrived if you think the cutoff will be different you are most welcome please comment it below so that you will also get to know your views now that was our expectation let's wait for the fpsc to surprise us this wait is not going to be too long we think after bihu result will most probably the result will be declared as fpsc has shown the intent to conduct the exam in expedite manner by sticking to the exam date we have in the past we have criticized fpsc for what they have done and now is the time we should also show some appreciation for what they are doing whether it is our opinion about the cutoff or any of the third party institution or individuals opinion about the cutoff if you think you are going to clear the apsc prelim examination you should definitely start preparation for apsc mains examination as this year's mains examination is having only 5 gs paper plus one english paper so if you start preparation for all the gs papers definitely this knowledge will help you even if unfortunately you are not clearing this year's prelim immediately by seeing the efficiency of apsc immediately maybe by end of this year they can release another advertisement and this knowledge if you are studying now also will definitely help you in the next year's prelim examination you will definitely get to assist you in preparation for apsc mains examination we are going to start apsc mains test series which will cover all the five gs paper thank you that's all in this video if you find this video useful you can like this video share it with your friends and you can also subscribe to our channel adhikari education you can also visit our website assamexam.com for more resources with regard to apsc exam preparation thank you